There are renewed calls to remove a statue dedicated to a polarizing figure in Philadelphia political history. It sits across from City Hall in honor of former mayor and police commissioner Frank Rizzo. Eyewitness News reporter Henry Rossoff joins us now from the location of the statue in Center City with what sparked this new controversy. Henry? Yuki, the statue was dedicated in 1998, and the effort to remove it in earnest began about a year ago. Now that effort has picked up steam with a councilwoman calling for it to be taken down in light of what's going on nationwide. Being in the center of our city, so as you can see, like it's a direct scene right from my office, um, you know, it's a question about what, what are we uplifting. And council member Helen Gim says the prominent placement of the larger than life statue of former police commissioner and mayor Frank Rizzo is a problem. She and others who want the statue brought down cite allegations Rizzo treated the African American community unfairly, even brutally at times. There is a, a long standing legacy around racism. Um, that we have to have to have hard conversations about. So last night, Gim tweeted, all around the country, we're fighting to remove the monuments to slavery and racism. Philly, we have work to do. Take the Rizzo statue down. The tweet comes in the wake of a weekend that saw white power protesters clash with counter protesters in Charlottesville, Virginia. Hate groups descended on that city after leaders decided to remove a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Frank Rizzo uh, is not in the same, um, uh, shouldn't be in the same conver conversation as a Confederate general. We got Frank Rizzo's son, a former council member himself, on the phone from Florida. He called the effort to remove his father's statue and the attack on his legacy misguided. And I never remember my dad uh, being anything but a fair person. If you broke the law, no matter what color you were, uh, he will make sure that Philadelphia was protected. Gim says she's not comparing Rizzo to a Confederate general. She just feels it's time to account for all history, including recent history. It's about healing our own sins, about confronting our own past and moving forward. Gim says she does believe she will get enough support from other city leaders to at least begin the removal conversation. We'll continue to reach out to those other city leaders to see if that's actually a realistic expectation. Live near City Hall, Henry Rossoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Henry, thank you.